I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Oh, I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. House of Pleasure. Loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Camp by the corrupt, Aristo uh, corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lord Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Right, Custis and Morgan. It says eliminate, mm, so maybe I do have to kill them. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on home. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. I know, I screwed them over. They the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. Well, it won't be fighting I'll until now. I'll but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Guess it did. Right. Go to the Golden Cat. Optional Slackjaw. Meet with Slackjaw in the distillery. Well, I'll go and meet with Slackjaw. But uh, if he finds out what I did, he's going to be very, very angry. Uh, make no mistake. Dark vision. Yeah, I think I'll upgrade that too. Boom. So we're back to the same place as before. I'm not in a different area. But it will have changed subtly. Yeah, the fire isn't here anymore. And I think a different time, time of day as well. Oh, what's going up there? Oh! Damn! Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths result in more rats and weepers. Different reactions from your allies and darker final outcomes. Right. Okay. So that is what chaos means. What the hell? So that's the tower and it's blowing people up. Right, okay, well, distillery district first. But I need to discover what the hell this thing's doing. And if I can take it out, I mean, that is brutal. These people didn't even seem to deserve that. Oh, hello. Right. Let's go around to the water. Oh, I'm getting eaten. I'm getting eaten. Vision is awesome now. I know exactly where he's looking. Yeah, I can take this guy. Into the water. Well, maybe not the water. I need to be careful of that tower. And 
This would be a good place to sit. No citizens allowed. Lethal force has been authorised. You have no doubt discovered after being blown up mercilessly. Wait a minute, there's a green thing there. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the power source? Is that what that is? Possibly. there. So it shows me items now. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, get out of there. Right, let's just disregard this area right now. Use the power of blink. Attention Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics huh? brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. In this time of spiritual crisis, the overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new high overseer is chosen. Who the hell is this guy? Slackjaw. Slack jaw. What kind of name is that anyway? Well, I'm guessing that the man has a very slack jaw. Or it might be a colloquial term. It might mean that he talks quite a lot. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slack jaw's wanting to talk to you. Okay. Well, let's do it then. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. The distillery. Right. So, um, what does he want to talk about, guys? You know, is this a personal visit? Or what? What's going on? Picked here? up anything good? Blow off, Joffer. So it's just bone charms that are nearby that I've missed. Okay. It's all well and good. Zone, right, okay. Still. Good. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that drank that bad elixir. Hmm, damn. I didn't think about that. Maybe I shouldn't have poisoned it for that crazy old woman. Yeah, never mind. Let's pick up this stuff. Oh no, 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 no. No, you're fine. I don't need the explosive balls. Right, so now this sign has... This place has keep out signs all over it. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> This sign has keep out places all over it.
represent you now. Well, it was good that I went into this area and got the stuff first. Time round. Blackjaw be waiting for you. Yeah, I'm sure he will. And he'll probably be quite angry. Can't carry any more of that. Did I miss this stuff the first easy, time? Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. That's a poor motto. Bunting. This art dealer, Bunting, is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall is something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Ah. Really? Double the normal cut. <laughs> Wait a minute, could I have gone this way the first time? Paste. Mm. Whatever that is, I don't care. Do just F, 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 F. Spam the F button. For great justice. that the first time? Never mind. And I'm also quite puzzled as to why they're just letting a stranger wander around their place like nothing's wrong. I'm just wandering in random doorways, poking around, picking stuff up, doesn't belong to me. <coughs> right. Slack jaw. Oh! Is this your still? Of course. I have never seen it before. This is the first time I have seen it in my life. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brood tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. So, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And we need to go back to Galvani's office. Fantastic. Hey, get out of the way, I want to steal your stuff. There is also, if I'm not mistaken, a bone charm in here somewhere. No? Did I pick it 
up. Must have picked it up. Actually, can't leave yet. What does that heart have to say about your man here? This is the first time I've met this guy. Slackjaw. Whores raised him. He'll never know his father was a prince. <laughs> he deals in flesh, weapons, strong drink. They've always called him Slackjaw. He knows the streets of Dunwall, especially its dark alleys, as well as any man. If ever in doubt, which is often, he uses the knife. A little bit of backstory there. Anyway. Oh. oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Wait a minute. They got out. Who the hell let them out? That was a pretty stupid thing to do. Keep that up. Well, um, you know what? I'm not going to deal with these guys right now. I'm just going to let them kill all these other ones off. I suppose I should do something. Let's see. I've only got four of these though. I'm trying to save these things. Somebody, get over here. So, how do they turn? How do they change? This is interesting. Doing a good job. Fire seems to work quite well. Oh, even against your own people. Well done. There we go, I helped you. Can't say I'm not a good guy. Just before I leave this area, let's have a little look round here. Don't think there is anything. Right, right. Looks like the Bottle Street Gang lived up to their Bottle Street Gang ways. I don't even know what I'm saying.